Uh, Mr. Sanders. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Dr. Elmendorf, for being here. Uh, Dr. Elmendorf, I thought your presentation was very, very strong and interesting, except you, I think, kind of left out some very important facts of contemporary America. And I'm going to tell you what I think, and you tell me uh, if you agree or if I'm wrong. Uh, one of the difficult jobs that this committee has is not only trying to come up with a budget, which is hard, but also within the budget deal with priorities. You know, when you spend money, when you cut money, it impacts real human beings. Now, my impression is that in America today, we have the most unequal distribution of wealth and income since the 1920s, late 1920s. That in fact, in terms of financial wealth, the top 1% owns about 38% of the wealth of America, while the bottom 60% owns all of 2.3%. And my understanding also is top 1% today in terms of income earns more income than the bottom 50%. And between 2009 and 2012, 95% of all new income went to the top 1%. Does that sound roughly right? Um, so, Senator, it's, Senator, it sounds roughly right. We have not done analysis ourselves through 2012, nor back to the 1920s, and I'm not an expert on that other work. But you are certainly right that the distribution of income and wealth in this country uh, is much more uneven now than it has been in decades. All right, and I say that because as we go forward in terms of our priority, and some folks want to cut Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, and programs for low-income people, we also have to recognize, correct me if I'm wrong here, that we have more people living in poverty today than any time in American history, 46 and a half million people. Is that right? Well, as you know, Senator, the calculation of poverty rates is a complicated business. The standard series, as you know, actually excludes many of the benefits that the federal government provides to low-income people. Um, so I, I'm just not familiar okay. with what the... Let me ask you this also, and that. I think this is an important point. Again, it's important to understand the past as we go forward. Your chart that you gave us tells us that up until 2001, I think 98, 99, 2000, 2001, we actually had a surplus. We had a surplus. Now, is it fair to say that the reason we began to go into deficit was because we went to war in Iraq, which by the time we take care of the last veteran is going to cost us about $3 trillion. How do we pay for that war? So, Senator, as, as you know, Congress uh, cut taxes and then uh, spent significant You mean in the middle of a war, overseas. you're not yes, suggesting that in the middle yes. of a war which cost $3 trillion, Congress actually cut taxes for the rich? You're not suggesting that, are you? Bernie, we're... Senator, <laughs> Senator as you, the Congress cut taxes for a lot of people. Come on. And the Congress spent a lot of money fighting uh, overseas. Point being, the reason we're in a deficit today is two unpaid wars, a Medicare Part D program unpaid for, large tax breaks, a trillion dollars of which went to the wealthy. And I only say that is that as we go forward to figure out where we want to be as priorities, you've got to remember that fact as well. Thank you, Thank you Mr. Uh, Chairman. You got it. So, uh, uh, let's go actually, with Senator Johnson. I, Mr. Chairman, and, may I yeah. just... Go ahead. Uh, my only response to you, uh, Senator, would be to note that we uh, released a study um, uh, earlier this week of the distribution of federal spending and taxes. Uh, this is for 2006, which were the latest uh, full set of data that we could collect. But it goes through at great detail uh, the ways in which different federal programs, uh, cash transfers and other sorts of transfers, and also federal revenues, how they affect people, households in different categories and households at different income levels. And if you were, those of you who are particularly concerned about the distributional impact of change that you are considering, we hope this information will be yeah. very helpful to you. It predates the recession.